Welcome back, everybody, once again to Super Hostile Isolation. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, picking up right where we left off last time at Intersection 2. Last episode, we took on the very first area, we took on Miner's Cavern, and we took on a Central Station with no problems whatsoever. Time to head into Digus Load Mine, which is an interesting name, I must say. I kind of want to go, yeah, let's go and get this buff. With the speed and the uh, jump boost, shall we make things a little bit easier on us? I do like I do like having stuff like that, or just little little power ups and stuff. Uh, you might notice that I haven't been releasing as many videos as of late. Number of reasons for that, but the primary reason is that I've been working on another one of my own maps and. Uh, and having a lot of fun with that and one of the things that I offer is uh, permanent uh, power-ups whenever you get a wool so something that I like and I know in one of my earlier maps I gave out permanent jump boosts as well because I think jump boost is incredibly incredibly fun anyways we are wasting ours right now this is certainly an interesting looking area although it's kind of hard to see with the snow let's back up a little bit that's so weird that is, that is very, very strange. Um, lots of little ledges and stuff. No mobs yet. I would be paranoid about the snow. But you can no longer do that cool trick with the uh, hidden... Um, hidden holes underneath the snow. I, that's, I think that's one of the... Ooh, there's, there's gold and there's iron as well. Let's head up the staircase and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I assume that we just want to be heading up at this point. So let's aim for the staircases and let those be our guide. Oh, another one over here. Very, very empty. Not a lot going on, which is similar to the other areas that we have encountered. I see staircases over there. Uh, like seriously, what? What? <laughs> There's just, I don't know. On one hand, I think a lot of CTM maps. Oh, look! There's something now. There's something down there. A lot of CTM maps now all kind of feel the same. So I think this map has that going for it. It it doesn't look or play the same as many other maps. But uh, it's uh, it's different, not necessarily in a good way. Oh, there's there are creepers around. But that's pretty much all that I'm seeing at this point, and it was just that one that we saw. Oh. Ooh, and there's silverfish as well. We have a sign that says, "This kind of looks like a face from the right angle." Oh, and there's the objective. Okay. You know, I but I I do appreciate map makers trying out new things and doing new things. That's that's pretty cool actually. Um took out the spawner. Let's kill these guys. Oh my gosh, they multiplied. You know, but at the same time, like you gotta make sure that the new things that you're doing are actually enjoyable, I think. What on earth is that? Will you stay still, guy? Gosh dang it, man. Well, let's go ahead and grab the objective, I guess. But I but I do think a lot of a lot of um a lot of maps today just kinda all look and feel the same way and play the same way. That is certainly not the case for this one. This one hardly plays at all, in fact. But uh yeah, let's Let's get out of here, I suppose. Can we just make our way down? Um, boop. Uh, boop. Oh, are they following me? I think they might be following me. There might be more to this area, but there's no real need for us to get any more gear or anything. The only thing that would improve our gear at this point is... Um, 
diamond, which I did kind of have something spoiled for me that there's diamond at the bottom of the water pit, I think over here. But honestly, I'm not even going to bother with that at this point. There's just not much need for it, I don't think. But I would have to go through and re-enchant everything and stuff, so it's just, you know, not all that important. I think this is what they were talking about, though. Apparently there's diamond down there, which means we could have been fully geared in diamond before even encountering a single mob. And that's a big... That's, that's, that's quite problematic, I would say. Oops, I totally forgot that I left an objective back here. You know, I, I think it's important to point out that no map maker is going to be able to create a solid product each and every time, especially when you're experimenting with new mechanics and new mobs and new aesthetics and new whatever it might be. You're you're bound to fail at some points. Um, honestly, if I were Vex, I would probably take this map down and work on it some more until it's actually ready for uh, to be played. Because at this point, I just feel like there's far too many problems with it. Um, but that's, you know, that's just my thought on the map. I think so far, this, this area here has been my favorite area. Just because there's actually some content to get through. Uh, you know, some structures to explore and some decent mobs to fight and stuff. But uh, I'd say every other area so far has been a, a pretty big letdown. I mean, just that last one, we were able to just walk up and grab the objective. So, oh gosh, things are a little things are a little full in there, aren't they? I just want to put up some of this stuff. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and put that guy there, just so we can have that handy in case we need to use it. What was that? I have no idea. Did you come from... Where did you come from, guy? Oh, hello. I don't I don't even know where you came from. We did not encounter you last time, I don't think. I mean, there seems to be something wrong with the spawners. They're long-range spawners, and many of them don't seem to be primed. Uh, but, yeah. Let's... Okay, you go away... And let's make some more golden apples. Let me get all prepped, and then we'll head into what I think is the final area of the map. Yeah, it's funny. I was saying that most GTM maps kind of feel very similar and look very similar, and I will say that the newest map that I'm working on is going to be a, you know just a three-objective map because I don't have the uh, attention span to work on a full full-length map. But... Uh, and basically, I decided to make it because I got an idea for a single area. And then I realized I you know, don't want to release just a single area. Here, here's what I was describing. There is a wither skeleton... A uh, skeleton? Yes, a wither skeleton. Wither skeleton head up on top there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be significant for some reason. But um, I was like, I, I can't release just the one area. I need other areas to go with it. So I... You know, the first area that I made is not one that I plan on making... And the direction that I decided to go was very, very traditional. So it's basically, you know, cave, foresty type area, uh, like you would see in many other, many other CTM maps. Um, it looked like it went on farther over here, I think. This is very reminiscent of the cave in the very first area. Once again, quite empty. Nothing really going on. And on one hand, that, that works, right? The theme is isolation, so you're supposed to be to feel kind of alone. But um, maybe tone that down a little bit, because the whole map just feels empty and like there's nothing really going on the entire time. But, uh... And, you know, I don't think doing what has worked in the past is a bad thing. I mean, if a map maker tries something out and it's successful, then copying that style is a perfectly legitimate thing to do, I think. 
and probably a smart thing to do as well, at least early on, especially. Oh, well, that's interesting looking. What is this? This room feels very important. And empty. But less empty than some of the other stuff. This is visually interesting. I would say it's probably the best looking part of the map thus far. Hallways. Empty hallways. And a dead end. Oh my gosh, there's gold blocks, you guys. We could just... I mean, I mean you're basically giving, giving the player infinite, you know, golden apples and golden carrots and stuff. Loot needs balancing, mobs need balancing, areas need content. The uh, temperature mechanic is basically pointless at this point. Oh, look, a mob. Oh, multiple mobs, in fact. That's so refreshing to see. And I think I hear more over there, too. Let's go ahead and take you out there, guy. Wood. Why on earth would a player need wood at this point? That seems really quite strange to me. We may want to get... A, uh, a shield, if archers are going to be our main enemy here. Might be smart. Although, look, we also have these guys, which we've encountered before. Alright, this looks to be just a loot room. If I had to guess, wood. I would say, please don't tell me it's all just a bunch of wood. <laughs> that would be terrible. And a diamond sword. Which really can't make much use of. I just now noticed the nether wart, too. I will, I will say this this dungeon is, you know, looks looks pretty good. It has an interesting aesthetic, but not a bad one. And compared to the rest of the map is pretty good looking. Hello. Oh, hello. Down there. We're just going to ignore you guys since you do almost no damage to us. And it's going to be easier to simply run right by you, I think. I'm not sure how essential lighting things up is. But we're going to do it anyways. Nope, you didn't see me. You didn't see me, Mr. Archer. I do not exist. I am not here. I am not real. Oh, oh hey, we've encountered you guys before, too. I mean, that I was able to get iron armor so quickly. I could have gotten diamond, I know, but that I was able to get... Um, iron armor so quickly and basically negate the temperature mechanic really is quite problematic oh you know what we could um, make ourselves a better sword here I suppose assuming that there's some sharpness indeed there is sharpness 5 let's put some I don't know if I want knockback on it is there anything else that we want to put on this oh feather falling yeah please I don't know how useful it's going to be at this point, but I can still make use of it. I think I already have a power 5 bow. Ooh, infinity, that would be good. Uh, yes, please. We'll take it. Uh, Looting, fire aspect. I don't think I really want the knockback, to be honest. We'll just go with the straight-up sharpness 5 sword. And water bucket back on the bar. And let's continue our journey. I'm I'm liking this area so far, though. Not challenging. Uh, the mobs are, you know, pretty easy. But I like the layout. I tend to like maze-like things and hallways and stuff like that. So this is nice. Um, although I believe that... This area was actually... Oh, look, they have Frostwalker. Okay, guy, I know, you don't like me. Uh, from what I understand, this area was actually taken from Super Hostile Online. So the one decent dungeon in this map was actually copy and pasted from... his online map. I, I kind of wonder if we're supposed to go down there. And I tried Super Hostile Online, but I just couldn't really get into it. Kind of similar issues 
that we're experiencing in this map. Just just not enough content to really justify playing it, and especially can't you know not to justify paying for it either. Um, but given that this was originally a dungeon in adventure mode, I'm guessing it's going to play very differently because designing a dungeon for adventure mode is very different than designing one for survival mode. But he would do a lot of this kind of stuff in Super Hostile Online where it was it was really less a CTM about, you know, basically PvE play, and it was more like figure out the confusing path that Vex has created for you. <laughs> it was really mainly just about figuring out where to go. Oh, no, no, no. I can tell when you guys are coming. Let's put that there so they can't launch me. What are you guys doing, man? It's being very, very confusing. Ooh, there is a hole right there. But this is what it would be is, you know, lots of, you know, wandering through empty hallways with the long range spawners, finding some confusing path, and it would be like a tiny little hole in the wall, and then figuring out where to go from there. This is 1.12. Oh, is it going to be an underwater maze? I mean, it's 1.12, so it's going to be easier than doing this in a later version of the map. Uh, at 1.13, you can no longer use the torch trick to get air and stuff, so that makes it significantly easier doing this in this version. Although that, oh, I think I just saw, yep, there's the objective. And this should be the final objective, I think. Gosh, just, I mean, look at, like, black wool. Oh, look, hey, hey, I just saw hunger, you guys. I think the temperature mechanic is working again. That's interesting. Why would it be working all of a sudden? Yeah. Whoa, it's going down fast. Why? What? Why? Okay, we're going to have to handle this. I'm going to have to pull out a furnace. The temperature mechanic seems totally broken. I I don't even know, yeah. But uh let's let's see here. Let's cook up some cobble. Cobble, 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 cobble. Like, I mean, the only thing I can think of is that maybe this area your temperature just naturally goes down for some reason, although the the player would never know that. There's nothing to indicate that. Maybe taking a lot of Hits or damage does something. Look at this, too. Let's put a torch there. It's... No, it's not even going down now. What is going on, man? It seems really bugged out. I have no idea. Okay, it's... Is it, is it going down? No. It's just hovering... Around that temperature now. I'm going to try re-logging to see if that does anything. Oh, no. That just that just made it worse. Um, Vex, your game is broken, guy. Yeah. No, I almost feel like our best option at this point is to try to just get out of here as fast as we possibly can. Otherwise, we're going to end up dying. Let's go ahead and grab this and just run and... Yep, thank you for the boost there, guy. Oh, no, no, no. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Oh, get it. Got it. Good. Water bucket on the bar. We're at 538 now. And we have serious hunger problems. Oh, look. There's Vexes. Fantastic. Is it because we were swimming in the water, maybe? Oh, gosh. I don't know what happens when it gets really low. I'm pretty sure we die, though. Um, oh, I need air. Is this the way that we came? I think this is the way that we came. Maybe, maybe not.
Oh yeah, it's still it's still going. It's still going. Let's be quick about this then. Just as quick as we possibly can be. I don't think that that's the path that we went through. I wonder if I should try to use a furnace again. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Okay, guy, just die already, please. Thank you. What are we at? We're at negative 642. Oh, man, and the way that the slowness and speed and stuff work is very, very annoying. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Finally, there's a sense of kind of urgency and danger in the map. That's nice. Oh, and it's going back down now. Yeah? Yeah, okay. <laughs> just, they, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It just decides to do crazy things all on its own. Oh, okay, and this should take us out, I do believe. Um, overall, gosh. We go this way, I think. Overall, I think this is probably one of the worst maps that I've ever played. And I'm being very, very honest with you right now. No offense to uh, to Vex or anything, but it's really bad. I had kind of heard that it was bad. I didn't expect it to be this bad, but it's it's really bad. Um, almost totally devoid of gameplay. The primary mechanic is totally broken. Um, nothing amazing as far as aesthetics go. And for me, on the list of things that are important in a map, aesthetics are down at the very bottom. I don't care too much about that, but... Uh, you know, there's no real variation in, in mobs. Um, it's, it's you know, only an eight objective map. A lot of the lore is confusing and I think is like little inside jokes with uh, maybe his subscribers or something or the people on Super Hostel Online. And that makes it less playable for uh, for the rest of the player base. Which overall is going to make it less less appealing. And um, yeah, I can't I can't really think of another map that I've played that's quite this bad. Maybe a couple jam maps from like people where it was like their very first map ever made. But Vex, given his experience, I, I expected a lot a lot more than this. So. Boom. And I'm still dealing with the hunger, huh? I still got four minutes of speed left. It's not doing me much good right now, though. I guess I'll see you all back at the monument, then. Like, I know I said I was going to see you back at the monument, but I'm standing in the middle of a snowstorm. And our temperature is going down. It's just, uh, yeah, you know, and I've had conversations with people and stuff about, about the map and, um, yeah, many, many of Vex's fans and stuff seem to, seem to like the map and he's gotten a lot of positive feedback on it from, I think, people who subscribe to his Patreon and whatnot. And to me, um, I don't know, I just think it's, you know, whether or not a map becomes successful or popular or whatever, maybe less about the overall quality of the map and more about um, kind of like, like social groups, I guess you could say. I don't know. People, people are going to like a game or they're going to like a map or whatever it might be. Often, not because it's the best game ever made or because it's the... Um, you know, best thing ever, but because it it gives them a sense of um, identity and a sense of community. And so if it's mainly people who already are part of Vex's community with the Super Hostile Online and stuff, they're, you know, they're going to they're gonna enjoy the map. And that may be who he's predominantly catering to at this point, uh, because those are people who are subscribing to him. I, I do think that 
in the end, it's the quality stuff that's really going to shine through, and that will be remembered. Um, but map making ne doesn't necessarily have to be about making a good map. It may just be about catering to a specific audience of people and, um, y you know, something that provides them with a sense of, of commonality, a sense of community. And for some people, I guess that's what this, that's what this map represents and that's how it functions for them. We are on the airship now. Things seem to be broken. Why is the liftoff not in the control room? You would think that's where the liftoff would be, but okay. Victory! You escaped. Hours pass. Eventually the frozen ice falls away to open uh, ocean and the air stops being so oppressively cold. You're not sure how much time has passed since, your first cra since you first crash landed back here. You don't care. Hope erupts from a flicker into a burning flame. You're alive for now. To be continued in Super Hostile Inferno Legacy. So I guess he does have plans for another map. And, uh... Oh, we can actually build on the airship. He does have plans for another map. I wonder if it's just going to be like an updated version of Inferno Mines. Because I could see that the start of Inferno Mines, like essentially you crash land again. That would make sense. Although I hope he does make a... Oh, we can go back. Why would we want to go back? It does make a, a whole new map and maybe takes to, uh, into consideration some of the other feedback that he's received. And maybe even tries to expand his ideas about what's possible in CTM maps nowadays because, I mean, just compare this to basically any map that's been made in the past five years. It's so far behind. Uh, in terms of everything from mechanics to gameplay to aesthetics, it's just so, it feels so outdated at this point. But, um, yeah. Hey, we escaped again. You probably don't want to have the player levitate up there. I mean, if my airship is moving, then we would actually be falling into the ocean. Which I actually want to try to do right now. We yeah. It's just a bunch, just huge, endless ocean. Okay. Anyways, you got, oh, it looks like a turtle. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it from me uh, for today. Uh, don't know what I have planned next. Maybe another older, well, not older, but 1.12 map. Kitten's Revolt is one that I've been meaning to play. I have a bunch of maps that I need to get to. These things are kind of going slow. As far as me being able to record. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.